What's up guys, Eric here, and I have some pretty bad news in terms of the Arrowverse and the future of the DC TV landscape as we know it. So for a while now on my channel, I've discussed the concept of Easter eggs versus literally confirming something on the shows. And I've told you guys many, many times before that just because a name is dropped or a reference to a city from the comics is dropped or potentially big comic book stories get mentioned, they're never concrete until we see them on screen. And it seems we're finally getting confirmation from at least one of the showrunners, um, as well as some new information regarding the future of the Arrowverse. So in a recent interview, Mark Guggenheim had this to say, and I quote, I love a good Easter egg, the occasional name drop, but that's all they are. You know, we name dropped Hal Jordan at the beginning of season three, but it's really just fun to us. I think in the Arrowverse, we have our own Justice League. We can leave the Green Lanterns, the Wonder Women, and the Batman out of it. These are either characters who are spoken for on the movie side or are featured on other shows. It's all just Easter egg fanboy mischief on our part, end quote. So that tells me we won't see any characters from the DCEU or the film universe being used on the Arrowverse shows much anymore, if at all. So like Superman, Deathstroke, and any version of the Green Lantern seems to be off limits. And this is pretty disappointing considering that we were kind of led to believe that even if the characters go away, they could always come back, like, you know, back on loan to the TV side. But from the sounds of it, if they're planning to use the characters in the movies in the future, that means they will no longer be allowed on the shows at all. And again, this also means any name drops, locations, or stories that are mentioned off screen, or even sometimes on screen, are just Easter eggs. Which is upsetting as it sounds, I'm actually kind of relieved that it's being spoken out loud by somebody at the top end of DC TV. Because I've said many times, these are just Easter eggs. I've said them on many videos. And then I watch other content creators or people in the comments argue with me saying that because they were mentioned, they are confirmed. And that is just not true. So for me, it's, it's a nice confirmation coming from Mark Guggenheim, but it's still very sad news. I didn't want to be right about this. I love the idea of using, you know, these characters, like these very popular characters on the TV side. But again, it, it just doesn't like it's going to happen. And this also has me a bit worried about the future comic book characters coming into the Arrowverse in general, because if these shows go on, we're going to have to add new characters as each season progresses. So if they want to use someone, no matter how big or small they are, they need to get extra assurance that they won't lose access to these characters down the road. I can only imagine like one of the characters, like the Flash, who's like the lead character on a show, they're using someone like that, and then they just step in and go, you can't use them anymore, we're planning on doing a movie with them, after they've built an entire season around these characters. We saw that happen, you know, with the uh, Argus situation and the building of the Suicide Squad, which panned out to nothing. Um, so what this means is we're going to get even more obscure characters and probably less comic book favorites. And I'm kind of a bit surprised because the DCEU in general is still a bit divisive, you know, and then putting all their money into that basket for Warner Brothers to do that, for what I consider to be no reason at all, sharing characters isn't really that big of a deal. I mean, you have animated features that use the same characters, but for some reason, they're real tight about who they allow in live action. You know, to me, it just shows that they still don't know what they want to do with that franchise and, and the movie properties. But uh, I hope that it doesn't impact the TV side too much because I do feel like there is a future on TV for DC content. And uh, this is kind of wiping that slate away. But that's it for me. I want to know what you guys think about this, how you feel about this. How do you feel about the executives at Warner Brothers having this much control over the creative side between the films and the TV shows and possibly the streaming service? Because I feel like they're always getting in the way. We talk about the studios meddling. We talk about the executives getting involved with the creative process and how much it hurts the films. Because regardless of whether or not you think certain movies or TV shows are good or bad, it's obvious that a lot of times the decisions that are being made are done by people who do not have the art or the uh, you know the best interest of the actual characters and storylines in mind when they're making decisions. So I want to know what you guys think about that. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Take care. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will catch you guys later.